Sharon Luska here from My Crafty Greetings and I'm doing a video today for Scrappy Tails using these gorgeous butterflies. I absolutely love these and there's three sets of them. I only got the one set and I'm kicking myself in the pants for it because the other ones are just so gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that great? And I tried to find a picture so that you could see the rest of the butterflies and this shows all the sets. Joy Wilson made that card. She's just incredible. I'll add her link below. Now this is some uh, paper that I got at the dollar store. It is gorgeous paper for dollar store paper and I gotta tell you, I absolutely love it. And uh, it has the color purple in it, which is my best friend's favorite color. And I wanted to make her a very special card today. She sadly lost her sister uh, last weekend and they were really close. Her sister was one of those wonderfully fun, kind people that just had such a spirit and such a zest for life and uh, was just an amazing person. And uh, so I wanted to memorialize that for her with a very special card. So you can see here I'm picking some of the colors out and I've picked my darkest color and I want to pick the greens and the purples out of this. And you can see pretty much everything goes together, but if you want to do a gradation of um, these types of papers, it's important to try and pick papers that have design weight to them. So you can see the heaviest design weight comes from this black paper, followed by my green one here, and then the two end pieces have similar weights being the lightest. Now I'm gonna be cutting the outline of the butterfly because there is a separate cutout for the outline, and that's true for all three of the butterfly sets. So I cut the outline out, and I'm using these pieces that I cut specifically to fit on my slimline card here, and I will put the measurements on the screen. <laughs> so. Um, you're going to run some ATG on your slimline card and don't worry that the cutouts are there. We're gonna cover them up, but we're gonna be coordinating the butterflies over the top. So as I'm doing this, I'm just gonna quickly say too, I'm sorry if I sound a little tired. We've been up two nights in a row with my poor little Ziggy and I'm actually sitting in the parking lot at the vet's clinic right now doing my voiceover, waiting for him to get done inside because of course with COVID, we can't go in. So I have this beautiful purple paper and I cut a strip and I'm just going to be adding it to my central panel here. That's just a piece of Nina that I've attached it to. And then I'm going to be using some of my famous packing foam to uh, add some dimension to the back. And of course I love this because you can lay it out over top of your um, piece and you can see right through it to know exactly where to cut plus you're saving the environment that's a, such a big bonus and uh, anyways I know everybody's gonna be wondering as well what happened to Ziggy I had given uh, Ziggy the Advantix to um, tick flea and whatever stuff and he had a horrendous neurological reaction to it and uh, he has been jumping and crying and just having a horrible time. So this is some heavy duty vellum that I have that I ran through and embossed. And I'm gonna sneak a couple little lines of ATG on here, one straight down the middle because the butterflies are gonna be covering most of it. And then I'm just ang angling a couple little dashes out each corner so they don't flap around. And uh, once I get this centered onto the panel, luckily it's not showing anything through. So I use ATG for one side of my um, packing foam here, and then I always used you know, like to use the mono multi blah 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 blah, blah glue. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The one with the green container by Tombow. It's some awesome stuff. So I've got that glued down and then I'm just gonna take my tweezers here and give the butterflies a little bit of a bend so that they have uh, somewhat of a shape to them and so that it makes it that much more obvious that they're butterflies. And then I'm also gonna use my Tombow in the green bottle glue. Let's, let's call it Tombow in the green bottle glue because I don't think they got any other green bottles, do they? Tombow in the green bottle glue to glue down these gorgeous butterflies. And you can see I match them up so that each of the butterflies matches the little exposed bits of paper on each side and uh, that, that it makes a nice gradient. So I have some homemade, what would they call those? Sp I don't know, sparkles? <laughs> what is this stuff? I mixed 
glitter and I mixed in, uh, you can either use glossy accents or um, I use a, um, an acrylic medium and I mix it all together and I make my own and there's a name for it. It's not Nouveau Drops, but anyways, well, I went ahead and added it to the butterflies and um, maybe I'll have a sleep later. <laughs> so <laughs> I added it to the butterfly bodies here and I really felt that that was going to do the trick and after I kind of percolated on it a little bit, I decided that this card definitely needed more, much more. So first thing I'm going to say is go ahead and let that dry if you decide to add this as a layer uh, with your cards first and then afterwards you can continue on with the next steps that I've got here. So I went ahead and got uh, some of my heavier vellums and I have one vellum and this is called lampshade vellum. It's really thick and another one that's just heavyweight but very transparent vellum. So I'm using the thicker one here and of course now you guys know that I like to concoct things so I have this gloss medium and varnish by Liquitex and some Perlex um, pigments and this is not uh, not like perfect pearls because it doesn't have any of the gum Arabic in it so it's not going to curdle this acrylic product up it mix up mixes up really nicely now if you don't have um, the, the same product that I have. You could use glossy accents. I was looking around the top of my desk and I couldn't find the glossy accents when I was doing it so that's why I got the gloss medium and you can just mix it together. Dab it on with a little sponge to make those butterfly wings all shimmery and beautiful. I would say very much like angel wings if you get my drift. And then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to squirt a bunch of water on it and put it in the container and set it aside so it can dry out and make a mess because I forgot it. <laughs> so, but if you want to keep it moist and you are somebody who actually will wash it out, that will save your sponge. So here is my sentiment, uh, deepest sympathy, and I'm just going to add a couple little fish tails on the bottom. And I wanted to put um, some foam tape on it to pop up this sentiment and I'm keeping it all shifted to one end so that it just kind of floats over top of the sequins that I added. And uh, here is the thin vellum, then the middle one's paper and that is the lampshade vellum that I actually used for the card. So now I have a little bottle of glossy accents and I'm going to bend these and I'm going to set them in place over top of the butterfly leaves. And you may look at this card and say, that's awfully lively for a sympathy card but I'm gonna say also to you people's minds have changed about sympathy cards in recent years and depending on the relationship that you have with the individual how well you know them and how well you know the person that they lost it, sometimes it's more of a celebration of life sympathy card than it is a dark sad you know you're hurting and my card is representing it card i hope she's gonna love this i'm sure she will thank you for joining me and if you haven't already subscribed i sure would love it if you would go ahead and share this with your friends and leave me a comment that would be wonderful have a great day thanks bye